Hello everyone, this is Robert Johansson. Um, we're going to try something new today. Um, we're gonna do some real-time research. I have um, thought about the link between um, emotional processing capacity and uh, somatic symptoms and um, in a study we, we recently conducted uh, by uh, Daniel Marotti we uh, we tested uh, emotional awareness and expression therapy intervention through the internet for somatic symptom disorder and um, we collected data both on symptom measures but also on emotional processing capacity measured by the EPS 25 measure which um, describes emotional processing as, as a construct with five dimensions avoidance, suppression, unregulated emotion, signs of unprocessed emotion and impoverished emotional experience and the question we're asking us today in this real-time research is is there a link between emotional processing as measured by the EPS 25 and somatic symptoms as measured by the PHQ 15 and if there is a link there is that link mediated by something I would call negative affect that is depression and anxiety I have never done this analysis before I have no clue about the result this is data from both the pilot trial and the data from an ongoing trial the data from, from uh, participants before taking part of a new treatment that is ongoing so we have data from um, um, 245 people that completed before treatment measures of emotional processing, somatic symptoms, negative effect as measured by PHQ-9 and GAD-7, GAD depression and anxiety. And we also have data on uh, age and gender. So let's look at this if there is a relation. So I open the I open the data set in this wonderful application called Yamovi. Um, So here is the data. This uh, statistic program in Yamovi is totally free, available on the internet, uh, open source and everything. So let's look for a correlation between the total sum of emotional processing and actually let's change the variables a bit here. Um, make it the correct measure type. I think that should be enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's look at. A correlation between 
the mean value on the emotional processing and where is the PHQ 15? Very strange. It's available there. Um, Uh, the program probably didn't like that I changed. That's strange. Okay, let's try again. I import the data set again. So is there a correlation between emotional processing and somatic symptoms? Yes, there is a correlation. 0 0.6, that's... I would call something between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 as moderate. Okay, great, it's a moderate correlation. As one could expect from the theoretical models, all of these patients have some kind of um, somatic uh, problems. Let's look at the subscales uh, the subscales so there is a quite similar correlation between all the dimensions, suppression, unprocessed emotion, unregulated, signs of unprocessed emotion, unregulated emotion, avoidance, impoverished emotional experience. Very similar correlation along those lines. That might indicate that it's not really, might not be valuable to use all the dimensions. We could rather maybe use the mean value of the total construct instead. Okay, um, so, but is there a correlation between between PHQ 15 somatic symptoms and depression and anxiety? There's a very large correlation between depression and somatic symptoms and also anxiety and somatic symptoms and it seems to be also quite large so this might indicate that the correlation between somatic symptoms and between emotional processing and somatic symptoms might be mediated by negative affect. So as part of the, you could add modules to, to Yamovi and uh, I have installed the medmod module where you can study mediation. So, so what is mediation? It's, um, you can read about it here. Mediation analysis allows you to explore whether a mediating variable can explain the relationship between, between two variables. So here we have emotional processing, here we have somatic symptoms. But is it the fact that negative affect explains that relationship? So 
So let's look at that. As I said, I have not done, I have not, never looked at this. I have never done, this is total new. We don't know the answer. Um, mediation, the dependent variable, PQ15. And let's try with the mean at first. And here's the exciting thing. We, we enter depression as the mediator. Huh. This is very interesting. It actually seems to be the case that There was, as you remember, it is a relationship between somatic symptoms and emotional processing. And that link seems to be very mediated by depression. It seems like 71, so here are the three paths. The path between emotional processing and depression, it's the A path. It's highly significant. It's a strong relation. And it's also a relationship between depression and somatic symptoms, the B path. That's also. And the relationship between emotional processing and somatic symptom stayed significant barely. So this may, I think that the last thing I said what is called the direct effect. So what, what this analysis is about is to estimate the indirect effect by negative affect. And it seems to explain 71%. That's very, very much. Let's try with anxiety. So uh, here, here, it's indirect effect is not really, it's very, very close to significant, but this means that um, anxiety as compared to depression is a much worse mediator. So, Okay, this is very interesting. So let's go back to this and let's try if it's... So this is the main result, uh, but we can still look at some subscales of the... of the EPS 25. Okay, so the relationship between suppression and somatic symptoms is extremely much mediated by depression. Remember, remember all of these were quite similar in the relationship to somatic symptoms. Signs of unprocessed emotion. quite similar to the overall result. This is very exploratory. Unregulated emotion. Avoidance. Yeah, this is really just exploring stuff. But anyway, the main result I would say is that uh, in our sample we had a moderate relationship, moderately strong relationship between emotional processing capacity 
and somatic symptoms. So the more problems you had with this, the more problems you had with uh, somatic symptoms. Even if I say capacity, high value is low capacity. So if you have much problems with emotional processing, you have much problems with somatic symptoms. But what we have found is that that link is almost totally mediated by depression. So we shouldn't overestimate the value of the relationship between emotional processing and somatic symptoms. Okay, so that's everything. That's what the first example of real-time research. Friday real-time research. Goodbye, everybody.